So every open community built on a blockchain needs to govern itself just like every country needs to govern itself. You need to figure out what's allowed, what's not allowed, when do we upgrade, how do we deal with unexpected events. Blockchain governance is just like all other governance. It's just more formalized by using smart contracts, using transparent voting on the blockchain to make these decisions. So when you think about how to govern a blockchain, it has to be compatible with the software. It has to be something that is verifiable. It has to be something that's repeatable. It has to be something that's trustworthy. Uh, and that's a different level of governance to think about from like what people would traditionally model as governance. In EOSIO, uh, token holders elect 21 block producers who host a constitution. And that constitution acts as a peer-to-peer end-user license agreement. And every transaction on the blockchain, we sign that, that constitution, as well as the block producers in themselves. So it creates a, a, a structure that allows us to manage the expectations of the community on how block producers will govern uh, various different types of scenarios.